Hi, I'm Glenn from GB Survey and I've been working in the local area for almost 30 years now. Today we're going to talk about um, why you should have a survey and uh, answer some common questions that people often ask me. People often ask me whether they should have a survey. What, what I say to them is that you're buying a house is the most expensive purchase that you will ever make. Therefore, I think it's really sensible to have a professional like me have a look for them. The two types of survey that surveyors usually offer are the residential building survey and the home buyer survey. Yeah, the, uh, the main types of survey which are offered, first of all, if you have a mortgage, then it's most likely that the mortgage company will require a valuation of the property. This is a, a very, this involves a very brief inspection and the sole purpose of the valuation is to ensure that the mortgage lender could get their money back if they were to repossess the property. Another type of survey is the home buyer survey. This is a more detailed and more detailed and thorough survey and is the type of survey that most of my clients ask for. At the upper end of the survey range is what is known as the residential building survey. This is a very detailed report which is normally reserved for older, larger properties which are usually listed. With both the home buyer and the residential building survey, we look at the property from the roof downwards. We start at the roof and work, out, work all the way down, looking at the windows, the walls, the doors, and even the pavement around the property. This is a fairly typical 1930s style semi-detached house. And one of the things that we typically look at is the condition of the woodwork at roof level. You'll see up there that there is a patch of decay which will need to be replaced. I've come around the back of the property now and you, you can see the chimney at the top of the roof there. It looks perfectly fine from the um, outside but I've been inside to have a look and inside I could see that the chimney rest the chimney brickwork on the inside has been taken away and that the remaining chimney stack on the roof has not been supported. This is the sort of problem that could lead to the collapse of the chimney stack. So we're now looking inside the kitchen. This is the area where the chimney has been removed just above the kitchen units. I hope that's been useful. If you'd like more information on the choice of surveys please take a look at my website.